Does anyone know what this session's about? Sinead? Loops, where did you find that out from? Excellent, okay, so first we need to look at what is a loop. We need to define that, we need to be clear, we need to have a shared understanding before we go forward. So I'm just gonna give you a few examples, okay, and then I'm gonna ask someone to tell the whole class what a loop is. So if I start with the number one, just like in maths, your favorite number, and we add one to it, what is our new number? Amy? Two. Two? If we add one to it again, Ella? Three. Three. If we add one again, Hugo? Four. And another one, Zach? Five. Well done. And again, one more, Bailey? Six. Six, okay. I could do this forever. Okay, I could go on and on and on. Could use your whole computing session just to add one each time. But that's why we've got computers now. Okay, they are smarter than us. Their brains work faster than our brains. So they can add, they can do these repeated much, much faster than we can. Now that we've done a short introduction, does that give you an idea of what a loop might be? Shanice. Keep going and doing the same thing, it loops like that. And you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Until you get bored of it, that's, and then you go into another loop and another loop. And you can do it like you said, you can do it all day long. Yes, Shanice, exactly what you were saying. So we could go over and over and over, but we need to know when to stop. Okay, we need to tell the loop when to stop. Okay, to demonstrate this, we're going to do a quick activity. So I'd like everybody on their feet, please. Okay, it's a game that everybody should be familiar with. It's called Simon Says. Okay, and I want you to continue the activity that Simon says until Simon says stop. Okay, so if you hear one activity and then Simon says do another activity, what will you do? Exactly, you will do both of the activities. Why? And because Simon's told you to do it, so you have to do it. Yeah, and because Simon hasn't said what? Stop. Olivia? Stop. Simon hasn't said stop, so we'll keep going. Okay. Uh, I would like everybody to jump. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Simon didn't say. Okay, good listening. Simon says jump. Simon says, keep jumping. Simon says, clap your hands. Okay, stop for a minute. What should you be doing when Simon says, clap your hands? Sarah. You should be jumping and clapping at the same time. Okay, so some of you didn't do what Sarah was suggesting. Okay, some of you stopped even though Simon had not said stop. So we'll try again, we'll try one more time. Simon says jump. <coughs> Simon says clap. <laughs> Simon says smile. <laughs> Simon says stop. I would like to invite someone to come and be the new Simon. Alfie. I mean Simon. Okay, so we are going to check, we are going to check Alfie's understanding of loops, okay, by the instructions that he gives you, and we are going to check your understanding by checking that you are following the right instructions. So it's basically the same Simon says. Yep. Simon says jump. Simon, Simon says clap. Stop. Oh, what? Stop for a minute. What, what should people be doing in Alfie? So, when, when I say stop, I didn't say Simon says, so it shouldn't be jumping and clapping stop. Because we haven't broken the loop yet. Yeah. Okay, so we should not have stopped. Back to you. Simon says stop. Simon says keep jumping. Simon says smile. Simon says clap. Stop. Simon says stop. 
Okay, you've shown me through your good listening skills that you're able to follow the instructions and that you understand what a loop is. Now what I would like you to do in your computing journals is to write a definition of a loop. Okay, not forgetting, not forgetting how to break a loop. So if you were to go home and explain to your younger brother or your younger sister what a loop is, I'd like you to write that down for me now. Okay, just before we finish, I just want to take uh, someone's definition of a loop that they've written down. My definition of a loop is that it does not stop until oh, it's a continuous action that will not stop until told to on demand. Lovely, continuous action, I like that bit. Great. As teachers, I think what we're looking for in this exercise is that the children are engaged and that they have a concrete understanding of what a loop is uh, and that they're able to confidently apply those skills uh, when they go to work independently. Uh, I think for me, when I uh, understood that the children had grasped exactly what I'd asked them to do was during Simon Says, um, it was put in their world so they completely understood uh, what a loop was before we went forward. Um, for those children today who perhaps didn't grasp it fully, uh, we'd make sure that they had adult support uh, in the next session uh, and that they had time to fully explore on the Cano kits and to create that understanding before we move forward.